Let's talk about how polymerization works as a process. We said that polymer means many parts. So how do you go from many individual parts to one component, right? The process is called polymerization, right? So let's talk about this in the context of the polymer polyethylene. Polyethylene is super common, right? If you look on the bottle and you see on the bottom this sign here that says LDPE, that stands for low density polyethylene. We'll talk about low density versus HDPE, high density polyethylene a little bit later. But the molecule looks something like this. Here's the ethylene molecule over here. That's what it comes from, right? So this is the what's called monomer, right? The monomer is a single monomer, the single part, right? We're going to then polymerize that monomer to form the polymer. And the polymer looks like this one over here, right? Uh, here it is just shown on in 2D up top here. But obviously, remember that we said that it's a zigzag chain, and you can see the zigzag chain. So it's zigging in and out of the page, and then these things go up and down, right? That's, that's what the three-dimensional structure would look a little bit more like. So you can see the mer unit there, right? See this thing right here had the carbon-carbon with the hydrogen up and down either side of those. And that's exactly what you have. You've got these repeat units of the mer going along the polymer, right? What's different? Can you spot the difference? Well, hopefully you notice that right here, you've got a double bond. And that double bond is gone along this backbone. So that has to do with the polymerization process, okay? Remember, at all times, carbon wants to have four bonds, right? All right, because it's got its four electrons. So they take advantage of that to do polymerization. Here's how it works. You start out with an initiator catalyst species. They usually write this as R star or R dot, something like this. Something that has an electron that really wants to form a reaction, right? So the role of this reactor, right, of this initiator, is to break the double bond that's initially present, right? So we initially had carbon double bonded to carbon with hydrogens off on the side like this in this planar configuration. So what happens is this initiator comes and it attacks that double bond. It steals it away and you end up with this situation now. Once it reacts and bonds with it, now you've got the reactant, right, this initiator bonded to carbon the carbon is still bonded to the two hydrogens from before. It's still bonded to the carbon neighbor. But now let's look at this neighboring carbon. It no longer has four bonds. It has three bonds. So this electron over here wants to be involved in a bond, but it is not. So what's going to happen, right? The myrrh becomes an active catalyst site. This thing is ready to go out and attack some other monomer, right? Some other ethylene monomer is over here, and that, that electron is going to want to attack that double bond, and so it's going to increase. It's going to keep on growing. It's just like adding Legos, right? Piece by piece, you have something that it wants to form and react, so it's going to find the other one. It's going to attack it and add it, and now this wants to attack and find something else that it can react to. So it'll find another monomer, and it's going to attach to that, and it'll just keep on growing, right? In this case... Uh, it would all be the same monomer over and over and over, okay? Uh, now, eventually, you could get two ends that both have reactive sites. So you, you've been growing a polymer this way. You've been growing a polymer this way. Those two ends could meet together. And when that happens, you're going to terminate your chain, right? So here it is schematically. You see, on one side, you have a chain that grew for some amount of time. The parentheses indicates that it could be many units, right? And the same thing over here. But then those, when they find each other, they just form a single bond, and now your polymer strand is complete, right? This is the process of polymerization. Now, there's many other uh, processes for polymerization. This is one of them.